What to expect after you call 911. Here is a top 10 list of what to expect after you call 911. Number one, there could be more than one vehicle. Depending on the severity of the call or the type of patient, there may be multiple vehicles. Number two, we will be wearing the appropriate PPE. On all calls, especially during COVID, first responders will be wearing the appropriate PPE. Number three, Ryan, expect us to ask tonight? a lot of questions. First yeah, responders will ask many questions to assess the severity of the call and what actions we need to take. Okay, let me check and see, how does, how does that feel? Uh, it, it hurts. Number four, what should you bring to the hospital? Not much. It is helpful to have your wallet, your ID, your insurance card, and a cell phone with a charger. Not much else is needed beyond that. Number five, what about my pet? If at all possible, have your pet contained in a different room so first responders can do their job. Number six, can you walk out of the house? Often when you have called 911, it is for an emergency that might be preventing you from being able to walk to the ambulance. Depending on where you are in the residence, park, or business, could require different devices to get you to the ambulance. If you are up on the second floor of a house, equipment like a stair chair may be used. In these situations, all you need to do is listen to the instructions of the skilled first responders on the call. Number seven, who can come in the ambulance? During this time of COVID, unless it is a pediatric patient, only the patient can come in the ambulance. Spouses and others are not allowed in emergency rooms currently, so we take only the patient at this time. Number eight, I'm not comfortable, or will I hear the sirens when I'm inside of the ambulance? First responders try to place patients in positions of comfort depending on the call. If you are cold, hot, hurt, or want to be in a different position, please let the first responders know. You will hear the sirens inside, but they're not as loud as they are on the outside. Number nine, which hospital can I go to? Many factors come into play when choosing a hospital destination. Generally, we try to go to the closest appropriate facility. Number 10, can I take food, water, Gatorade, Diet Pepsi, etc. on the ambulance ride? Unfortunately, no. Hospitals generally want patients not to eat or drink before coming to the emergency room. Hopefully you found these tips helpful. If you ever need us, we will be on call and ready.